Uh, before I let you go, um, we've got a big one in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, Terrence Crawford, Israel Madrimov. I know you're working on some stuff on that fight right now. Yeah. Um, you know, Eddie Hearn's been out there, and I know he's being the promoter, but he's telling everybody, don't sleep on Madrimov. And I got to tell you, I kind of agree with him. Like, Madrimov is not a tune-up fight. Madrimov is not a stepping stone fight. Madrimov is a 29-year-old, career-long junior middleweight with a title, coming yeah. off his best win of his career, with great amateur experience, with power. Like, this guy's got it. And it, it feels like maybe it's not the same thing as Canelo against Dimitri Bivol, but there are kind of parallels there, where Bivol was like the champion who hadn't faced anybody really up until that point. And yeah. I think a lot of people believed Canelo was going to beat Bivol handily. He was like a 5-1 to one favorite that night yeah. uh, against Dimitri Bivol. Now you have Crawford, who is just a couple of months away from his 37th birthday, moving yeah. up in weight in his first fight, taking on a guy like this. I'm of the opinion, Tim, this is going to be a war. And this is going to be a challenging fight for Terrence Crawford. How do you see it? He's been out of the ring. He'll be yeah. out of the ring over a year and some days, too. So yep. inactivity, put that on top of that. Um, but I, I, you know, you you're making me give up my my, my information now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a teaser. About. Just a primer. Hell, hell, like, I'll, I'll give you the intro. The intro of what I what I what I was gonna say. You know, when Crawford moved up from 135 to 140, um, who did he face? He faced, um. Who was the guy? It wasn't Brady Prescott. It was another guy he faced. Anyways, it was a guy that moved down from I can't remember right off the top of my head. I have it written down. Prescott was, was he was Prescott was the he nah, took up Prescott, Prescott on short notice. Yeah, he fought Prescott on short notice, but it was um it was another guy, but he was a power guy. Power punching, come forward. He was a 147 pounder that moved down to 140 to face mm -hmm. him. I forget his name off the top of my head. God forgive me. However, he was a pressure heavy-handed, come forward, better. okay? Crawford handled, handedly handled him. No problem. Everybody was talking about the size and everyone's talking about the strength and talking about, you know, he gets hit. If he gets hit early on, he can go down, so on and so forth. All right, so let's go to when he moved up to 47. Who did he face? He faced another power, durable, rough housing guy, and Jeff Horn, right? A lot of people are saying, man, Crawford Small moving up from 140, 147. Yeah, I don't know if he he can deal with that strength. You know, I mean, this guy bullied Manny Pacquiao, you know? No, the skill level's not there. However, the awkwardness is there. The strength is there. The power is there of Jeff Horn. He can give Crawford, Crawford some problems. And Crawford handled him pretty easily. Who is Crawford facing now? Oh, he got a limit amateur background. I think he had over 350 amateur fights or three, almost close to 400, you know, mm -hmm. 20 losses or something like that. Um, a great, a great amateur fighter. He had a great pedigree, but he's a bully type, strong, come forward type of fighter. You see the trend. You see, you see the trend, the guys that come forward strong. Crawford knows how to deal with these type of styles. And if you look at Crawford, he fought champion so he fought for a vacant world championship at 140 at 47 he fought a champion his first fight at 147 mm -hmm. who was jeff horn then he's going up to 54 what is he facing a pressure guy a guy that like that's boot strength that comes forward can hurt you and he's a champion so that's a trend that's a trend right there it tells me that crawford's gonna for, for me i'm like i see the trend i see the style matchup I know what Crawford can do. I saw what he did against these other guys that we thought were big, strong, aggressive. Oh, he's going to maul them. He's going to this. And he handled them easy. So I look at this fight and I'm saying, all right, where does Maj where's Majamal strong? He's a, an aggressive guy, really off rhythm type of fighter. He, you know, he doesn't always fight on rhythm. Uh, he, I call him a bricklayer. Heavy hands. You know, he'll place a shot here. He'll place a shot here. But I, I know his system because he comes from my trainer, Joel Diaz. Mm -hmm. His system his system is low, high. And what I mean by that is, is that he will start picking low to bring the defense down, and he'll sneak you over the top. 
So you, he has a sneaky left hook, a sneaky looping right hand, you know, and he'll start jabbing, stab, jab downstairs to bring the defense down. He takes his time. You know, you see him moving his hands and, you know, trying to get himself in position. He does have some angles. He can switch it. However, a lot of the things that he does, they're skillful, but they're done at the wrong time. Okay? They're done at the wrong time. If I can see that, I know someone with Crawford's IQ, he can see that. When he shifts on angles, he's out. He's a bit too fat when he shifts on angles. He is. He's out at range, mid-range, shifting on angles. He's going to get caught with shots. He lunges sometimes with his offense. Crawford loves guys that like to lunge. Mm -hmm. Okay? Crawford was a wrestler, so he understands leverage on the inside. He's a lot stronger than what people think he is. So he can handle himself well on the inside. Crawford has developed a catch and shoot game now that he used against Spence, you know, and other guys where he understands that I don't fear contact. You can punch, I can catch, and I can shoot when you're out of position. There's no problem. So I look at this fight. It's dangerous. Where it's dangerous is dangerous early. When Crawford is calculating distance and, you know, he might – misjudge a punch with his reflexes, you know, and get clipped early and not getting hit with 10 ounce gloves or eight ounce gloves in a year, that can, that can, that can, that can be uh that can penalize real quick. You know, you can get hurt with a shot like that. However, I still think that Crawford, I think his skill level, I think his IQ, I think his strength is underrated. Uh, his ability to be able to adjust on the fly uh, once he gets into his rhythm and he gets going, I see him starting to pile up and starting to hurt this guy. I really do. Um, one more thing that I that I watched on film was Madrimov, he, he's not a contact fighter. And what I mean by that is, is that when he feels contact, go back and watch his film. All right? After we get done, watch his film. He covers. He covers. He covers. He covers. Boy, shot. He doesn't throw anything in between. He covers. That's it. He's not a contact, uh, catch and shoot, catch, shoot. He don't do that. So there'll be times where Crawford can control him, not only with his jab, but he's also going to be able to control a lot of the action just by touching him, touching him. Similar to what he did to Avenesian. Touch, touch, uh, get out of the way. Touch, 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 touch. Just occupying him and keeping him defensive, and Crawford then land that boom here, land that boom here, get him over, give him over anxious, and land that kill shot, hurt him, and then take him out. I see a stoppage late for Crawford. It'd be an interesting first couple of rounds. Crawford trying to get the rhythm down of this awkward type of style, Eastern European style. However, this is down Crawford's alley, in my opinion. Mm. I told you the history of the guys that he faced coming up. This is his MO. He's facing the right guy at the right time, and he's going to take full advantage of Madrimov. That's See that? My now breakdown. you've got me ready to read all the rest on ESPN when you're done <laughs> with, your, with your story. Yeah, be... man. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, 